myself dr triranjita shrivastav today we will discuss structure of atoms part 2 bohr's model of atom in the previous lecture we have discussed thomson atomic model and rutherford scattering experiment and its shortcomings the rutherford atomic model very well explained the rutherford scattering experiment and its finding however it was not able to explain the stability of atom and the line spectrum but it gave a very good insight for the structure of atom that it possess a positive charge nucleus and its entire mass is concentrated in the nucleus and the electron was revolving round the nucleus in this lecture we will study the bohr's model of atom and the concept of orbits and energy levels in 1913 niels bohr proposed a model of atomic structure which was based on quantum ideas proposed by max planck further in 1922 he received nobel prize in physics first of all let us discuss the bohr's postulate there are four postulates of bohr's atomic model the first postulate says that electron in an atom moves in a circular orbit now what do we mean by this we mean by this that the electron is revolving round the nucleus which is positively charged and the electron is revolving in a circular orbit now since the electron is revolving it will have a centripetal force which is radially inward and since these electron and the nuclei are positive and negative charges so there will be a coulomb force this force will be attractive in nature this centripetal force is equal to mv square by r and the coulomb force is given by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 z e square by r square so in order that the electron is orbiting around the nucleus these two forces should be equal that is mv square by r should be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 z e square by r square so when the electron is revolving around the nucleus the these two forces will compensate and it will have a constant energy the second postulate says that only those orbits are allowed for which the orbital angular momentum of the electron is integral multiple of h upon 2 pi now what is h h is planck's constant whose value is 6.26 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second now what do we mean by orbital angular momentum of the electron since the electron is revolving round the nucleus so it will possess a angular momentum which is termed as orbital angular momentum and it will have a linear velocity which will be tangential to the orbit so the angular momentum l which is given by r cross p where p is the linear momentum so l is equal to r cross m into v so the magnitude of l is m v r as we know that orbital angular momentum should be conserved and according to bohr this magnitude of orbital angular momentum is the integral multiple of h upon 2 pi 
and again this h is Planck's constant. The third postulate says that an electron moving in an allowed orbit do not radiate any energy. In these allowed orbits, the energy of the electron is constant. These orbits are called stationary orbits. According to fourth postulate, the energy is emitted or absorbed by an atom only in discrete form and that energy is equal to h nu. From where does this discretization comes into picture? According to Bohr's model, positive nuclei is at the center and electrons are revolving in different orbits. When an electron, for example sitting over here, it jumps from an inner orbit to an outer orbit, then a photon of energy h nu which is equal to Ei minus Ef is emitted. What is Ei? Ei is the energy of the electron in the initial stage when it was revolving in this orbit and Ef is the energy of the electron when it has reached the outermost orbit. The converse of this phenomena is the absorption of photon that is a electron in the outermost orbit absorb a energy h nu which is equal to Ef minus Ei then this electron jumps from an outer orbit to an inner orbit. So the emission and the absorption takes place in discrete form. Therefore, the Bohr's model that is the quantization of energy as well as angular momentum explains the stability of atom, energy levels and hydrogen spectrum. So what we have learnt in this lecture? We studied Bohr's model of atom and the concept of orbits and energy levels. Thank you.